Hi, thanks for having a look at uh, Monday Muse. You may or may not be aware that I'm quite a football fan. I love to play, I love to watch, I love to discuss football and I've been quite excited at the prospect of the delayed Euro 2020 tournament which started last week. But then of course on Saturday um, the relative unimportance of a football scoreline was put into very stark perspective as people watched in shock as Danish midfielder Christian Eriksen collapsed and received CPR on the pitch due to what we now know to have been a cardiac arrest. Of course, in a moment like that, the scoreline goes out the window. Nobody really cares about that as all attention turns to the well-being of the individual and of their family and their loved ones. And that happened across social media uh, as people, uh, including the football community, drew together and really sent their messages of support and called each other to pray for Christian Eriksen in that time. We were so relieved to hear that he had stabilised and was recovering and is continuing to recover in hospital. I even heard one commentator say that although he's not a religious person, that surely all these messages of support and these prayers that had been sent up had made a difference in the situation. I can't confirm whether that is true or whether it's not. But it does sometimes take a moment of crisis or difficulty like this for us to look beyond ourselves, to recognise that there might be something or someone bigger than us and get a bigger perspective in life. And difficult moments in our own lives often help us to seek support uh, and help from God or from friends and from families and that's the right thing to do in those moments. But I do believe that God is keen to hear our prayers in the good times as well as in our moments of crisis. One extremely short Bible verse puts it simply like this, pray continually. And perhaps in the middle of whatever you are doing today it might be worth just taking a moment and talking to God. Even if you just really honestly want to say, God, I don't know if you're there. I don't know if you're real. Be honest. Tell him that. And whilst you're doing that, it might be good as well to pray for the continued recovery of Christian Eriksen and for God's love and comfort to surround his family as they recover and respond to what happened over the weekend. God bless you. I'm alive in